Hello and welcome back to another video. Um, it's quite some time since I've posted on this channel. Um, I decided, you know, with how everything was really, you know, to have a couple of months off YouTube and I've been doing other projects and doing other things, but it's now the end of February and, um, you know, time moves on and um, there's definite signs, um, particularly we had it, it's not quite so nice today, we had a lovely uh, last couple of two days prior have been absolutely lovely and almost spring-like and it makes you realize that you know spring is only just around the corner and you know you start having to think about you know um, preparing uh, for the new gardening year perhaps some of you have even been setting and doing things already you know um, I mean it is possible um, particularly if you're in the fortunate position to have a heated greenhouse but uh, I don't think there's many of us amateur small gardeners that can really afford to do that now. Um, only, you know, uh, certainly not how I used to heat a greenhouse anyway. I used to, before the days of buying, um, you know, plug plants or the internet, I used to grow every little bit of summer bedding from seed, you know, geraniums, impatiens, and those kind of things and um, you know a lot of those you had to really start at the end of January in early February and you know I was heating my little greenhouse with my paraffin my Aladdin paraffin heater and you know I was probably I, I had a 45 gallon um, drum that a fuel distributor firm used to come and fill up and I could perhaps burn two if not three of those <laughs> in a winter but that was when paraffin was re relatively cheap and one could do that. And in any case, one couldn't buy the plants in any form of plug plants then. Um, you could certainly buy, shall we say, more garden ready plants from garden centers back then, but the price of those was quite dear. Um, so yeah, as I say, we move on. And um, I'm sure I should be coming back with some more videos um, about the trials and tribulations of certainly growing annual plants again this year. Um, looking back on last year overall, I was absolutely de delighted with everything that I managed to grow. I'd, I had one or two, you know, um, things that didn't do quite as well as I expected, but I think that was down basically to the very hot summer we had and um, some of those days we had a week here when it touched 41 42 degrees and um, it was a battle just to keep the tubs and things watered luckily here we were never in a hose pipe band situation as well which obviously makes a lot of difference so anyway i hope you've all had a good winter and you're like me you're starting to come out of hibernation and think about the oncoming spring um, another reason Earlier on in the winter, I had quite a bad shoulder, which is now fully recovered. It's, um, you know, it's an, an old um, leftover injury from the building trade, that is, and it, it came on really bad around, just after and before Christmas. Um, so that was another reason why I didn't make a lot of, you know, didn't do any videos on this channel. And um, as I say, I only like to make videos when there's something of interest to make a video about. Um, I know YouTube s seems to think you should keep banging videos out, whatever. But um, anyway, I just wanted to say, you know, we are, so I am still here. Um, you know, I am intending to come back and I've got one or two new ideas. Um, I have taken the idea forward and it looks as though um, at some point in time, and I don't know quite when this is going to be, that um, there are going to be some local allotments made. And um, I don't know quite what sort of the land condition will be in or when that will be, but I have my name down for one. So it might be that, you know, um, there'll be quite a series of videos if that does all come off to fruition, as, as I'm led to believe it may, there will be some videos about, you know, creating a new allotment from scratch, um, which I'm really looking forward to. And I hope that does, you know, come off at some point in time. Um, I just thought I'd show you quickly, um, you know, one of the la later videos I did at the, in the spring, sorry, in the autumn of last year, um, was I set some tubs. I'll just finish this video off um, with a quick look at those and how they've progressed on. Um, we have had some quite cold frosts here. I mean, one night it got down to minus seven, eight. 
Um, it, that was just before Christmas. So we had a couple of really cold weeks and we had another uh, spell of cold weather in January with some sharp frost. So there certainly won't be um, any annuals that come up on their own this year that are left. Um, you know, I think I've pulled them all up because they're all dead and very much frosted now. Um, we shall see what happens with the dahlias. I did leave some dahlias in the ground, but you know, it's not the end of the world if they don't survive. Um, I've had some wrapped up in fleece, um, all done up, very well insulated in the greenhouse. So we shall there again, see how they've survived. You know, have they made it through that, those cold sort of two to three weeks we had? Um, so anyway, um, thanks for your ongoing comments. I see some videos have still you know, got comments that I've got to go back and answer, even though it is very late. So my apologies that I haven't, you know, um, been able to dedicate a lot of time to this channel throughout the winter. But um, we are back and um, I hope, you know, you'll come and join me again and um, have a look what I'm doing from time to time on these videos. And um, until that point in time, as always, I wish you well and um, I shall be back shortly with some more gardening videos. And so I'm looking forward to that. And um, as always, thank you all to the new subscribers. There's a few more people subscribed to the channel. And um, I look forward to um, doing some videos in the next coming few weeks and months. Until that point in time, as always, good gardening and bye for now.